guys welcome back to more returnal so yeah i haven't really played the game yet <laughs> i did do the um kind of the intro i guess in the last video and i didn't want to end the video there but it was kind of late on friday night and i wanted to get a video up at least on the same day that i you know that, that it came out there's a lot of people that are playing the game right now and a lot of people playing it way more hardcore than me um, and I think, you know, some of the, the main streamers have even completed it already. Where's my controller vibrating here? Um, yeah, they've already completed the game. I mean, uh, I'm not looking to rush through it. I am, uh, uh, you know, I'm not even bothered about that timer in the bottom right there. I did enable it, but it's just kind of more of my own indicator. <laughs> um... Eat the white shadow broadcast. Yeah, I'm just gonna play it and enjoy it. The environment wasn't like this before. Where are the is there a way to highlight these enemies maybe? You like the adrenaline thing it basically if you don't get hit you're uh, doing more damage Xenotech. okay I can't oh wait what's that so I hit my r3 button okay it's like bat vision it got it what is that up there Can't do anything with that. Wonder if we take four damage. Let's have a look. Oh, no fall damage. Um, I'm actually tapping the the button as well. Can't access that from here. All right. So I took damage from that, even though it's in the water. Interesting, right? Who is that heal? Is it down here? Oh, no, that's water. Well. Alright then was somewhere around here I saw it all right I gotta be more careful while I'm playing where I saw a heal there anyway there is one there look it's on the, the thing maybe it's up top all right so yeah I gotta be more careful I'll break that thing up there hey what is that that chest in a numerable valuable items use a key to open insert key Okay, Overlight Stabilizer dropped Overlight last three times longer. Artifacts or items with beneficial effects. Some have passive effect, while some have activation controls. You can view them in the equipment tabs and the computer. Alright.
Okay. We gotta go up there. So I'm definitely gonna be a little slow at this at the start. I'm not gonna you know, beat around the bush there. I am exploring even... Oh my god, I thought I fell off there. Even when I was playing... Um, Outriders, I was a little slow at the start and then I, you know, everything kind of started speeding. Bear with me. Get to it. Plus, I'm trying to figure out this thumbstick extension thing as well. I don't remember if I finished saying what I was saying in the last video, but uh, yeah, I have thumbstick extensions to try and help my aim a little bit. Basically, it extends the, the length of the, uh, the thumbstick, so, you know, a light movement now moves the cursor a little bit but a light movement you know on narrow i guess uh, range of motion moves it a lot more so yeah what's this potentially beneficial New technology discovered. Augments my weapon with an alternative firing mechanism. Highly effective. Right. This will be useful. Oh, if I push the controller all the way down, then I don't have a attack. All right, so. Yeah, learning the adaptive controls is definitely uh, something you gotta get used to. Where are you, buddy? There's another one somewhere. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's too much range in the game. can hear it. Nice. Okay, so we have a door over there. Don't need to grab that heal because we are maxed. Like, do I need to grab these? Is it overheal? It kind of does, I guess. I mean, we got maximum integrity on the side there. There is something down there. Chests in there as well. There's a blue door over here, so we need to go into that door. Go through this blue door first. Function probability very high. Water up. Do I want to get a malfunction right now? Let's have a look. Use consumables. I 
genotype device acquired. I think this will prove a useful tool. It consumables of single use items and unique effects. You can carry multiple copies of the same. Yeah. And that one just says we have to use consumables, kill hostiles, kill ten enemies. Don't want to swap that out. See what this one gives us. So you can only have two malfunctions at the same time. But right now I have a consumable that repairs integrity. Kind of like a heal, I guess. And then I have this one here. That give us five stacks of instantly reach max adrenaline. Requires a key. Alright, I don't want to drop in that thing because I don't know if it's going to kill me or anything, but. Yeah, I wonder how other people are playing this game and uh, are they experimenting and looking around like I am? I wonder how I get that actually. Get it just yet? Dash through there, I wonder. Oh, dash through there. these vines probably something that unlocks later on maybe so can I get this almost looks like there might be another way in there but anyway Uh, this looks dodgy, it's all foggy and stuff. Great. Something over there. Oh, question mark, yep. This. Each weapon system, each weapon you discover has three properties, alt fire, stats and traits. Alt fire is an alternative firing mechanism that recharges over time. Stats affect the weapon's power and other attributes. Uh, while traits can modify or add new behaviors. Any traits start locked out, but you can unlock them with continuous use of the weapon. Okay, so you use the weapon and it basically levels it up your proficiency level affects how high the stats can be weapons you find right so consumables don't carry over and weapons don't carry over if you die which sucks but see how this fires 
All right, it's an AR assault rifle, and it has an alternate fire. All right, looks like a massive AOE. I wonder if it's close range. It did seem to dip down. Have a look at the map. Can we zoom out here? Yeah, we can. All right, so so far we've grabbed everything we can. Can't get that chest there yet. Can't go through that blue door. It looks like when you hit this, the alternate fire does not do anything. Don't want to use a consumable because it's going to heal us and I'm already at max health. I think it'll just use it and not actually heal us. So I'll use it when I need to. So I have to use two consumables and kill 10 hostiles. 10 hostiles shouldn't be a bad thing um so overload is disabled so i have to use consumables to unlock that hostiles counter on hit all right well i'm not hitting them i don't think that'd be a problem all right see the alt fire in the bottom left there it's still charging up I don't want to get it back before I carry on into the next area. Okay, my controller vibrated. Damn, that's sick. massive wall beyond which is the white shadow signal. I can't cross the chasm. For now, I'll change objectives and investigate the energy reading in the forest. You can feel the raindrops on the controller again here. Sick. Shadow is something only I should know. And now, out of literally nowhere, I'm hearing it again. Were the sentients involved? But how would they have known? I need to believe there are answers at the signal. So it says overcharge is disabled, right? What is it? Well, overload. What is overload? Did it explain it somewhere? Databank, sources, equipment. Oh, well, whatever. There's another one of these things. That hit me, really. Okay. I don't really see the enemies. Like the old fire. How is that? Right, a lot of new words in this. Still figuring it out. Hey, there is a door there. If I haven't said it already. The graphics are thick. Can't get through that thing. Got to figure out how to break that. Okay, can break rocks. Must be a reason for that.
Okay, so the triangles are side paths. Squares are the main path. Alright. Have a look at the side. I think this is a way of setting a checkpoint. Quite possible. I mean, device for accurate reconstruction of complex entities per environment. That sounds like a vibe to me, but. Break that. Four enemies in here. Can't get up there. Gonna be something to grapple your way up there, maybe. Anyway, still figuring things out. see what this is. It requires something to activate it? Okay, find something. Be patient. Patience is definitely not one of my strengths. Another one though, somewhere. One more, where is it? Go by that door. Table turrets, table turrets. Those two will stack, so I might as well grab them. I didn't get hit, so do I need to loot this? Okay, let's have a look. It was one slot towards max integrity. All right, that gives us another max integrity slot. All right, so they kind of teleport us up. Gives us a way of getting up into places we may not be able to reach yet. That's good. 
Okay, so we have max integrity. Oh, okay. So when we collect them and we don't have health, it heals us. When we have max health and we collect them, it increases our suit's integrity and gives us more health. Thing interesting. All right. Kind of makes me want to loot them all now. All right, I can grab that one in there. And as much as I like this weapon, I actually don't like it. Um, I kind of like the slow firing ones, but that the ones that do more damage. Small area, I don't expect that to fight in here, but. Inactive Xenotech device can be used to recover and increase integrity. This like a heal? Right, we increased our health a little bit more. And we've got rid of our malfunction. Nice. Something up there. Having the uh, permanent um, run not gonna lie, it's actually nice and it's not nice at the same time. Is this here? Can't get up there, alright. So where are we heading? A device. <laughs> Diamond means device. All right. All right. So far, so good. You know, we're not doing too bad. We haven't found the key, I don't think yet. Oh my god. I don't remember what my L1 is. It disables turrets, never mind. Remember. I remember, I remember. There's no point in really looking around because the minimap basically tells you everything in the area. Discovered xenotype technology on the corpse of a sentient. Scan is indicating potential for suit augmentation. Function test to confirm. All right, we can some kind of translocator now. Good. Confirmed. Point to point teleportation. Location exit ah, seems not gonna make that. I wanted to see if I can make the jump. Oh, I see something there though. I see you. You guys see that? Big dash. Uh, malfunction though. Hey, okay, let's try it. Why would you use that? 
Yeah, we didn't get a malfunction from it though. No way we're gonna get up to that one. Just checking to see if there might have been something back here, maybe a secret thing to get us up there, but Alright. Yeah. I may not be the fastest at this game, but I'm you know, I'm still learning, still looking around. Where are we headed now? Um Okay, we wanna head through there, alright. Okay, now we can access this. Weapon proficiency measures your combat ability per cycle. Your proficiency from each hostile that you dispatch, but there's also items that can grant you proficiency or affect your proficiency rate. How much proficiency you gain from dispatching hostiles and items. Your proficiency level determines minimum level of weapons you can find in the world. All right, what's this translocator one? So these ones teleport you within a biome, alright? So I believe there are six biomes in total. They have a set destination. Alright, so based on the mini-map, I think I've got everything here. But this is a new... That purple thing. Get everything. Hey, what the hell? Okay, ether is a mysterious resource that is kept on death. All right, that's good. Gain ether by interacting with the sea scouts and completing daily challenges. Ow, that thing is really quick. Kind of alien thing here. All right, we came that way. Let's go down this one, I guess. press that by accident but what is this discovered xenotype technology that produces other devices just like a shop um, device that exchanges ether and obelites for one or another seems to it seems poised to do something if enough obelites are placed in it Cooperation with other scouts is encouraged. Insufficient everything. Right? This. Fabricator? Okay, so this one fabricates items powered with obelite. That one. All right. So all these things. Monkey stuff. What's this? Increase max integrity by twenty-five percent. Why is three twenty-five? I've got two sixty-two. All right. So 
little claw thing looks kind of cool. Not gonna lie. What's this thing do then? Alright, what's this? Has a major amount of integrity. I would have to buy this. Get to have the health at least. All right. Now it's telling me what I can do. Okay, grant some out a huge amount of weapon proficiency. Gain 10% protection while alt fire is recharging. That's actually not that bad, actually. Uh, gain 5% weapon damage per adrenaline level. That's pretty good as well. So the less you get hit, the more uh, adrenaline... Well, yeah, the adrenaline you keep going. Like, right now I'm at 5. Not doing too bad, keeping it safe and such, but uh, what's this one again? Okay, that's the exchanger down here. Hey, what's this? Evidence of rudimentary xenotype language discovered. Currently lacking resources to decipher this xenoglyph. This is fast travel. Don't really unlocked a lot, fortunately, but I've been everywhere where I can except for this blue door here. Discovered a fragment of the xenotype language. I'd like to unlock further translation tiers in. Alright, we read this thing now. Is this translating correctly? Severed brethren. Maddening agony. Alright. We gotta find another one so we can decipher this fully. Deno tech required, alright. I don't think I can dash through that. Doesn't have the laser beams. Damn it, lost all my adrenaline. Honestly, I didn't know what I was firing yet. Is that thing on the ground? Icky goo. Lost all my adrenaline. Did not see what was attacking me, but it's all good. So this repairs integrity now. Took damage. If we were full. If we were full, I think we would have been fine. Oh, what's this? Uh. All right, We've got loot boxes in here. Oh, 
I don't know what that one star means, but it's giving us one bonus damage. Giving us a grenade. Last shell hardened. Giving us the auto rifle again. Giving us a grenade. Alright, what's this one got? Plus two. Shark stream. Kind of seems close range. I'm gonna stick with the rifle, I think. I guess that's a one time thing. But this will heal us. Oh, max integrity. All right, two to max integrity. That one heals us. So you really gotta watch your minimap. Nice. And that increased our life. Not like do anything. Break those rocks. What's the red door mean? Have a look. There is something up there that I can read. these things all right I got a feeling the red door might be telling us to go to the um I'd be like a boss room or something let's have a look what's over here first weapon More blaster. What is this? Shotgun. I don't know if I like the shotgun. I don't know if I like the shotgun yet. More of a close range thing. I do like the uh, the special on it though. What's this? What is that? Uh, there's a dude here. Is that me? That's me. Strengthening and weakening my suit. Parasites have both beneficial and detrimental effects to your suit. That's uh, earn more. 
find salvage from hostiles more often, suffer damage when using Atropian keys. Well, I'm not sure what the hell an Atropian key is. I think it might be to open boxes and such. But I think that's a... Uh, Fair enough um, thing to give up. Great. You know what? We are getting up there in time, and I'm actually having a blast with this game. It's uh, you don't realize how long you've played. The uh, super fun so far. Learning and figuring this out. Parasite looks thick. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Till next time, get easy.